In the last tutorial, we looked at how to make the aliens move and how to make the aliens go uh, left and right, and when they hit the edge, they bounce. So in my game loop, I've got a function called move aliens, which is one I have written. Move aliens takes in uh, the invade list, the list of aliens, and also the current direction, and it returns the new direction if the direction has changed. Looking at the move aliens code, now I've now adapted this. So, like before, I've got this move underscore IP, and that basically moves the aliens based on the current direction. However, I've now changed the way things work in the sense of the collision detection. So, I'm going to do the collision detection first and see if we need to change direction first before I start moving them. And the reason for doing it this way is it stops um, a kind of a weird artifact happening where um, some of the aliens hit the edge and change direction, but some of them don't, and you get this kind of weird effect. So it's important to do the collision detection first, which is why I've kind of done it this way. So I've got another loop, so I'm going over the invaded list twice. If any of the aliens hit the edge, which is why I've got i.right is greater than width, or i.left is less than zero, I change the direction, but then I need to get every single alien to move down. You can see I've got an extra loop. So this loop will make every single alien move downwards, okay? And you can see I've got the move IP that makes things move. And I've got zero on the x-axis because it's not moving left and right at this moment in time. And 50. That makes it go down one row because the aliens don't move down slowly. They jump down one full row and then they keep going left and right. I then got this um, break command. And the reason why the break command is in there is to stop the loop once I've detected a collision. Now, if I didn't have that break command, what will happen is it will detect another collision uh, on the next row and it will move down again. So it's important that I break this loop out because I want the aliens to move away from the edge of the screen, otherwise I might get them moving down more than one row. Okay, so that break command, I mean, feel free to remove it or comment it out and see what difference it makes, but the break command simply stops the loop from running. So with this code, um, this is all the change you need to it, and this will then make your aliens move the way they should do.